So Electron Overbridge Beta is finally here. Yeah, I can't wait to show you what they have right now. This is phase one. So the only thing they rolled out at the moment is the driver. And the driver uh, makes it possible to use the Digitect as an audio interface and stream each track to your DIW. And if we look at the screen, this is the control panel. So as you can see, we have the main inputs, kick, snare, tom, clap, cowbell, Closed head, open head, symbol, input, input. So let's look at the settings panel. You can set the buffer size. I always choose fast because sometimes uh, rapid will, yeah, kind of cause uh, glitches and uh, artifacts. Expected input latency seven milliseconds. Expected output and latency is 6.4 milliseconds. My DAW of choice to test the Overbridge 2.0 is uh, Studio One 3. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, here you can see I've added uh, eight tracks um, resembling the eight tracks on the Digitect, the main output and the input stereo. You can do that in Studio One here at the song setup. And if you go there you can see the in and outputs of the Digitect. It's cool to see that uh, such a small box has so many options. So here you can add mono and stereo channels for each uh, track on the Digitect. Uh, another thing to note is that you should, uh, and in Ableton this is pretty much the same, in that you have to make sure that you uh, choose Digitect as a MIDI interface to send MIDI clock and lose, uh, yeah, use MIDI clock start and uh, time code. So when I start playback in Studio One, uh, the Digitect starts. So that way we can record uh, really nicely. Um, so I must say that the latency is amazing, uh, as in it is really, really low at 64 and it records without issues whatsoever. So uh, yeah, let me show you. And it just records smoothly without any problem. Here you can see I'm recording the main output, output as well as each track individually. One thing to note is that the tracks are dry, so the uh, the reverb and the delay do not get sent to the DAW, um, only at the main output, of course. So that's one thing to note. I don't mind because um, when I'm going to produce complete tracks of the grooves I built in the in the Digitex, I'm, I, I want to use my own effects anyway. So it records smoothly. The latency is really low. There's no glitches, artifacts, or anything. So, so far, Electron, really good job, and I'm so glad it's finally happening, because I bought the Digitex, um, yeah, knowing full well Overbridge wasn't ready. But, um, yeah, it's gonna make my workflow as a producer so much easier, because uh, I can produce grooves in the Digitex, I can then stream them to the DIW, make full-fledged tracks of them, release them. Another cool thing um, I really like, because I like to produce within the Digitect and make the sound as good as possible. I can now stream my individual tracks to Overbridge. Uh, I can then produce the track, uh, EQ, the kick and the bass and everything, and then sample it back into the Digitect. So yeah, that's, that's really, really cool. Uh, let me show you, they added a feature at the sampling page. If you scroll through the inputs, you can get the usual external in, internal left, right, internal left right and then there's USB left right USB left right so I can now sample directly from my DAW into the Digitect which is really cool I really like that one thing to remember is when you want to use Digitect uh, with Overbridge you have to go to the settings and at system you have to set USB config to overbridge mode. Don't forget that, otherwise it won't work. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna make uh, more videos uh, on overbridge as soon as more gets released. Apparently they are going to release a standalone version of overbridge. They're going to uh, release a plugin, of course. So there's a lot to review and I'll keep making videos about it when they roll out new fun functions to test. Uh, but so far, amazing. I hope you enjoyed this first video on Overbridge Beta and um, see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya.